up close, you might recognize these moon jellies, a type of jellyfish common to Puget Sound. Something more spectacular, this view from overhead, featuring a swarm of the species. Some biologists believe as oceans warm, their populations could increase more steadily, raising questions about their impact. There can be thousands to millions of individuals in these groups, so we're wondering how much food they can eat and what impact that might have on Puget Sound. During three summers, researchers from the University of Washington, Western Washington University, Highline College, and NOAA dropped nets in bays across the sound, taking samples and determining low levels of zooplankton where moon jellies swarmed. Zooplankton are tiny animals also eaten by baby salmon and other forage fish. We put jellyfish in tanks with zooplankton and measured how much zooplankton the jellyfish were eating. And we found that in just two hours, um, moon jellies were able to consume up to 75% of the copepods in the water and the tanks that they're in. So they are able to eat a lot of food really rapidly. Now they're working to establish exact feeding rates and model what that could mean for other animals, depending on environmental conditions. From the University of Washington, Eric Zuko, King 5 News.